हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर हेल्दी एंड आई अंशुल पटेल वेलकम यू टू माय क्लास वंस अगेन एंड दिस वीडियो इज़ फॉर क्लास सेवन सो टुडे विल स्टार्ट न्यू चैप्टर ऑफ सिविक्स दैट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ अ डेमोक्रेटिक गवर्नमेंट सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट आर चैप्टर विद इंट्रोडक्शन स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट आर चैप्टर सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ अ डेमोक्रेटिक गवर्नमेंट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ डेमोक्रेटिक गवर्नमेंट सिग्निफिकेंस इम्पॉर्टेंस सो इन दिस चैप्टर विल कम टू नो अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ डेमोक्रेटिक गवर्नमेंट वाई डेमोक्रेटिक गवर्नमेंट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बट बिफोर दैट लेट्स रिवाइज सम टॉपिक्स होप यू हैव लर्न दीज टॉपिक्स इन योर प्रीवियस क्लास क्लास ऑल्सो बट देन ऑल्सो विल रिवाइज सो first start that what is a government we'll start what is a government a government is a group of people that have the power to rule in a territory according to the law territory a territory could be a country or a state within a country so government group of people that have power to rule in a territory according to law now we'll continue with types of or forms of government so students let us know various forms of government so students the first one form of government is democracy and the next one is autocracy and the third one is monarchy so we'll start with democracy so what is democracy so student democracy is the rule of people in which people choose their own representative so the definition of democracy is a democracy means rule of the people where the people can take part in the decisions that affect the way their community is run so the name is used for different forms of government democracy is a name used for different forms of government now students will start with different types of democracy so there are two types of democracy the two main types of democracy are the first one direct democracy and the next one representative democracy so first we'll come to know about direct democracy that what is direct democracy direct democracy in which the decisions are not taken by representative in direct democracy decisions are not taken by representative all decisions are voted on by the people for example if uh, there is a bill to pass there is a budget who will take the decision for that people will vote and take the decision not the government not the representative will take the decision on bill or budget this is direct democracy now representative democracy what is representative democracy representative democracy is a system of government in which all eligible citizens vote on representatives to pass law for them so what is representative democracy in which people who are eligible they vote or choose a representative in their behalf who take decisions for them means they choose a representative for their own for their community to take decisions which are good 
good for them now representative democracy two types of representative democracy and this is a subtype of uh, government so uh, there are the first one is parliamentary democracy and the next one is presidential system democracy so students parliamentary democracy what is parliamentary democracy parliamentary democracy is a system in of government is a system of government in which majority party in the parliament forms the government majority party means the party who get more vote than the other parties forms the government and the leader of the party become the prime minister like example right now uh, bjp is in major as a majority party and uh, who's the leader of uh, the party pm modi is the leader of the party and he is the prime minister of our country now the next one is presidential democracy presidential democracy is a system of government where a head of government is also head of state and leads an executive branch that is separate from the legislative branch means here decisions are not totally in hands of the state means executive has more powers over legislature now we'll continue with the next type of government i've told you there are three types of government the first one is democracy the next one is autocracy so students let's come to know about what is autocracy so a uh, simple definition of autocracy to understand is a system of government of a country in which one person has complete power or government by a single person or a small group that has unlimited power or authority and in an autocracy people are not allowed to involve in any of the political decisions this type of government is north korea so uh, in north korea autocratic government is there now um, in north korea none of the people are allowed to indulge in any of the political decision making processes now the next one type of government is monarchy uh, i think you know about monarchy so the monarch form of government is that one that is ruled by only a single person for life or until resignation so in simple language we can say that a uh, monarchy is a system of government or rule by a king or queen so king or queen is a monarch or they are called monarch so monarch a kind of um, monarch is a kind of hereditary ruler is the head of a state mostly monarchies are hereditary hereditary means inherited by ya anwanshik and the example of this type of government the uh, country which we know is united kingdom where still monarchy uh, monarch government is followed by the people now students you want to know which type of democracy is followed in india yes so india is a parliamentary democratic republic so india followed parliamentary democratic republic in which the president of india is the head of a state and the prime minister of india is the head of government now student i think 
this is for today we will continue this chapter with democratic government and its features in our next class uh, here are your homework questions the first one homework question for today is name the different types and subtype of government and the next homework question is what is democracy so read the chapter and do your homework questions so with this today's session is completed hope you all understood the topic properly now do your homework questions properly uh, your uh, first homework question is what is democracy and the next one is name the different types and subtype of government so students see you soon with a new topic in our next class till then stay safe and do your work properly